Vienna is a really old city. It's been around for forever. Uh, Roman, I believe the Romans founded it, honestly. It's been around for thousands of years. Uh, it used to be the capital of a great empire. It's still the capital of an empire. <laughs> uh, the thing about Vienna is it's very cultured, very classy. Um, everyone might, when people think of Vienna, uh, they usually confuse it. I think that's pretty funny. They either think of Venice or they think of Australia because it sounds like Austria, but it's neither of those things. Um, Vienna is kind of like your average city in Europe. Uh, I like it because it's kind of, I like to call it the Western, uh, the Eastern capital of the West. It's got a lot of mixture from a lot of the Eastern European countries. There are Hungarians, lots of Serbians, Croatians, Turks, um, Bosnians, Russians, you name it. You can find them in the city. It's very multicultural. Uh, I, when I was in Vienna, we lived on the fourth floor of a building, uh, just very high up. And it was within the inner city. And so it was in this old architectural style building and you would look out the window and you would look, you saw down that canal and where the, uh, the U-Bahn, the subway was going. And you could just look down and there was just other buildings like that all the way down with the street. And it set off a really good mood for just the cultural art of Vienna itself. I was there in the winter. It was really cold. Really cold. Uh, it's, it's humid there, and so the winter just really seeps into your bones. Um, but overall, it's uh, it's a pretty it's a pretty nice experience in there. There are a lot of palaces. I would go with my uh, with my trainer, and we would take the U-Bahn early in the mornings, a couple of stops to a really famous palace called Schönbrunn, and we would go running on the grounds uh, for our early morning uh, exercise. Um, yeah, it was just, it was a lot of fun. It was really beautiful. And we would go to the top of the hill at the other side of the palace and watch the sunrise if we were lucky, if the time, if the timing was right before we'd run back down and head back home. Um, yeah, it's, it's typically very, uh, it can be foggy. It can be very foggy. It can be very cold. At least when I was there, I was also, uh, it can also be very humid. So it really all depends on the preference of the city, whatever it wants to do. There's a lot to say about the city. It's been around, like I said, for forever. Um, one of the things I really like about Vienna is that there were so many wards in one city. For me, that, that was big because most of the cities, uh, even some of the bigger ones, only had a few wards. Like... Stuttgart. Stuttgart's a pretty big city. It's well over 500,000, 600,000 people, but there's only two wards, one in German and one in English. But Vienna has five for its size, which I, which was really cool because that meant there, there was a huge influence of missionaries and a huge influence of members in that city. And they were all working together. Um, I mean, the stake was there. Uh, Wistek Center was there, and uh, people recognized that Mormons were kind of a, th a thing. Uh, they didn't just kind of mistake us or uh, dismiss us. A lot of them would recognize more of this, uh, more, uh, more than the than the average person would on my mission, I suppose.